Camborne School of Mines has come under fire over the past week in the local and national press following an annual social involving members of the social wearing hard hats and high-vis jackets on a night out in Falmouth. This received negative press after some members' jackets were scrawled with racist slurs and with mocking remarks of the recent Las Vegas shootings. With the fate of the students undecided, we decided to speak to students on Penring campus whether they thought these could be seen as humorous or the comments could be worthy of disciplinary action. How do you feel regarding the recent events regarding um, Camborne School of Mining? Um, so one of my housemates is a member of CSM. Um, she's a master student and I was talking to her about it and I feel quite bad for the students that weren't involved in the incident, um, especially considering the older students who were probably not involved as the older, but maybe wiser towards um, making comments like that. And so regarding that, I feel quite bad for the, my, um, the majority that's been ruined, their like, reputation has been ruined by the min minority for one night and now internationally CSM is not going to be recognised as such a reputable um, institute. Yeah. I reckon they've just completely misunderstood what banter is. Um, fair enough if they want to make jokes about their lectures or like, I don't know, like mining puns, geology puns, but it sounds like what they've done is just completely off topic and just out of order. Um, I think it was just very, very inappropriate, basically. I don't, I don't know massively about what happened or anything, but yeah, I think basically it was inappropriate and it shouldn't have been done. I'm not too sure how I stand on how they should be disciplined. Um, I think there's a need to be disciplined or something like that. Um, purely because they're so like hyper masculine about like, just their self that they, they thought they were untouchable. So I just want them to be, I just want them to cry a bit, <laughs> just get kicked out of uni. I don't know if they should get expelled because I think that's a little bit harsh, but they should definitely have some form of punishment. There's obviously this kind of thing around CSM anyway that some people have. I don't particularly have any views on anyone. Obviously you can't say that every student doing mining or anything like that is the same and has any kind of view that are not just that someone else has. But um, I think that this has helped that and kind of given them more of a bad reputation. I think a lot of the students in CSM are actually really upset about that because they don't want to be kind of the hated student mm -hmm. body of people. We went to the Camborne School of Mines to speak to a member of staff about what action will be taken a week on from the incident. However, no one was willing to share how the course leaders and university as a whole was handling the situation. One CSM student gave an insight into how the current climate of Camborne School of Mines is. So we've had meetings Wednesday afternoon and then we have them this morning as well at 9am. So one Wednesday was a whole CSM staff students. PhD students, masters, and just basically discussing the impacts of what's happened to CSM as a whole, how awful it is, and how disgusting it is, and how the overriding thing is how most of the student body are actually just frustrated, quite angry that this has happened, and we've been tarnished with it as well. So that's going to be overriding people from the student body. Yeah, what's going to be, how are we going to put this right? So we've had discussions, you know, student ideas about how we're going to go about doing this and trying to not, yeah, just trying to repair the damage in a way to the reputation, the student body, try and make up for it, which is obviously going to be hard because it's quite a serious issue. Um, then we had one again today, my name is the one guy from the main campus to uh, pin down and spoke to us about it. So I need to hear from you guys what we do, hear from brainstorming and we're just trying to put this thing into action as we speak. So that's what's going on from our perspective. And obviously the minute we feel quite ashamed to be CSM, I guess, because of a name, and obviously how it was.